ask Tom on Home Show. Bob from Webster, Texas has a question about bathtub replacement. Yeah, he's fixing to replace his uh, bathtub with one of these, this bathtub here, with one of these ensemble packages that he's bought from a home center. And so he's looking for your help with that, Bob, Tom. Bob writes, the long wall of tile on the back is an outer wall of the house. And the instructions call for anchoring the wall panels to studs. Should I also install a moisture resistant drywall or some other material on that outer wall before installing the bathtub or wall panel? I'm concerned about the heat and humidity and the back wall takes all the morning sun all year long. Well, it's not going to be a huge heat gain on your house, but you just insulate the wall like you would with uh, formaldehyde free fiberglass is what I would use unfaced and no you don't put anything on there when you're building a new home the tubs and the uh, one piece or three piece shower units whatever kind of shower unit you get they have to attach to the stud so the sheetrock comes down over the top and it details properly or you can tile it to whatever you want to detail around the edge but those go directly to the studs are designed for that uh, and remember with those things you get what you pay for so if you buy an inexpensive one it only lasts so long because what happens is they're fiberglass, and if it's a tub or a shower pan and you're, you're heavy and you're walking on it, it slowly fractures until it finally cracks and gives way. Uh, but as far as that goes, the answer is no on the sheathing. Just insulate, put it up there, and just like a tub, a bathtub's the same way. They go in on the rough end, and you have to protect them until the job is done. In your case, you're doing a remodel. Just keep it protected while everybody's working around hanging the sheetrock and stuff. Don't leave it open. Leave it. Keep it covered with something. And don't use the tub as a trash can during the job either. Everybody does that. It really makes me upset. Don't upset, Tom. You don't want to see don't upset, Tom, Tom upset. Oh, boy, right. I get upset over that, too. Yes. And, and just let me head one more off at the, at the pass on this, Tom. I'm assuming that you're not going to put any kind of vapor barrier behind there either. Nope. Nope. Goes directly to the studs. Let it breathe. That's the way they're designed. Uh, let's, let's face it. They're not a primary type of unit you would put in an expensive home. Uh, they're used in weekend homes. They're used in uh, double wides. Uh, they have a place and they work, but it's not something that uh, is going to get a long life out of. And they're put in very simple. And that's what they're meant to be. Inexpensive, simple and work. All right. You want an expensive, simple, and works. That's Tom, and he's free. Click on the Ask Tom button, and we'll get you an answer just like that. And you know what? You're, you're building with what you can do, and, and that's great, and we yeah. want to help you do it right. And so right. you can also write us or send us a video. Click on that uh, Pictures Help button there if you want to send a picture, because that helps us understand what you're talking about so we can give you a better answer. And we want to do that. We post one of these every day on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, and at homeshowradio.com.